Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over some items and we're going to start with this tub. Uh, I've had this in my store for some time and it just doesn't seem like it's moving at all. So I decided to just make it over and I started by spray painting it black uh, in the matte finish. And the reason I spray painted it black first is because if I decide to distress this, it's a good color to distress down to, but also I wanted to keep that little rim around the top black and the handles. Uh, so I, I just decided to go ahead and start with black. Now I don't paint the bottom of this because it's just um, the galvanized and I don't paint the inside because it's also obviously galvanized. And I, I definitely didn't want to paint the inside because if somebody decides to use this as a drink cooler just to, to put some drinks on ice, then, uh, then they won't have to worry about this paint being on the inside. But I gave this two coats of the color uh, Fluff in Dixie Belle, and I'm not sponsored by anyone. Uh, but I put two coats of this Dixie Belle on, and then once I let it dry... Uh, then uh, I decided not to distress this piece, um, but once I let this dry, then I, I do spray a, a couple of coats of the matte Rust-Oleum just to protect that chalk paint. And now I am doing, um, and I forgot to mention that I did this stencil first before I clear coated because I wanted to also clear coat this stencil on and I'm only using a partial stencil and I've kind of cut the uh the uh gotten this out of frame so the rest of the stencil is not showing anyway but I'm just doing this top part uh with the B in the middle and then uh and then these this little yellow swirly pattern I mean obviously doing that in yellow and um and I'm, I'm trying to stick with a couple colors here, which are the black. And this is Colonel Mustard, also in the Dixie Belle. And I like to choose a couple of colors. And then, uh, and then I feel like by adding white or off-white, uh, then it really makes those colors pop. So generally, I'll use a couple of actual colors and then just... Uh, like I said, just put white or off white with it. Now this is an item I found in a thrift store and I think it's to put a little votive light in, I think. Um, but it was just this, uh, almost like a bronzy color, but obviously it wasn't bronze. So I decided to just spray paint that, the roof of this in that black matte. And, uh, and now I'm just kind of painting uh, the the bottom of this uh, in white and it takes two coats and I paint uh, just the outside and then the bottom and and then um, once that dries I also clear coat this piece and I decided not to do anything else to it because uh, these little bee designs are enough and this white makes them really pop and the little stand that it was hanging on, I did also spray paint that in the black. And then that's all that I do to this piece. And uh, I feel like that really changed it up a lot. I want you guys to know how much I appreciate uh, all of you uh, watching and subscribing. Um, you guys have really helped my channel to grow and uh and I get so many very sweet comments, and I'm just so thankful for you guys. And so many of you have re really uplifted me uh, with your words uh, when I lost mom. And, um, and, I, and I've learned that so many of you have gone through um, even so much worse than, than I did. Um, but I'm thankful to God for crafting because crafting uh, really helped me to get through the pandemic. Uh, and, and now it's helping me with mom because I've learned that the busier I stay, uh, the better I feel. Now we're going to make over this little bird cage, and uh, it was it was black, uh, but almost it had a little bit of the brown showing through also. 
and uh, but there was enough black on this that I had a good base coat and I really wanted that dark base coat because I wanted to paint this where there was a lot of that showing through and I don't like to brush it on because uh, if I brush it on then you get these little streaks and you have to have another coat and in putting that second coat then I don't have much of this black showing through. So, um, some time ago, we we bought uh, from a wholesale company uh, some iron some iron uh, garden decor that looked like it was old. And I started looking carefully at how they painted it uh, because they just kind of painted it to look like it was old and chippy and uh, rusted in places. And uh, so, to get that old chippy look, I heard that they kind of dip the items in the paint. And so, I just decided to try to kind of recreate that. And I did it by, and I've done it with several items, just kind of glopping it on there. So, I don't even really brush it much. I just kind of put a lot on my brush and just kind of dab it on. And when I dab it on, then I'm leaving some of that black to show through. And um, it gives it almost a clumpy look, which is great for me because it just kind of adds to that old rustic look. Almost like maybe there, there was some rust and they painted over it or whatever. But uh, it really works out to do this. And if you're going to put these items outside, obviously, then you would have to just really, really clear coat it. But this is gonna just gonna be an inside decor piece, and I am gonna clear coat it with a couple of coats of that Rust-Oleum matte finish. Uh, but I'm only gonna put a couple because uh, I just want to protect this chalk paint. But it's not likely that a bird cage this size will be used outside anyway. It'll be used more as a cloche. So I just give this uh, a couple coats and. Um, and uh and then the clear coat and then that's all that i do to this piece and um i didn't mention it and i guess you can see here that this is a very messy uh way to paint <laughs> it makes a mess so make sure that you have something underneath it to protect your surface and now the last item that i'm going to do is this little mail holder and uh, I know that you've you've seen these that hang on the wall to put your mail in. And uh, so I just gave this a couple of coats, or actually just one coat of the black in the matte finish. And then I go over this with a couple of coats of this, uh, this yellow color, the Colonel Mustard. And the reason I went with that black coat first is because it gave me a good color to distress down to because I will be doing some uh, some light distressing on this piece. And, and when I paint this, it's kind of hard to get down inside. So I just get the best that I can down inside because you're not going to be seeing inside it anyway because... I'm not going to be using this as a letter holder. I'm going to be using it as uh, to put a little floral arrangement in. So it doesn't matter that you can kind of see down in there. And uh, I didn't put that black coat on the bottom because I didn't plan on doing any distressing on the bottom. But I do paint this yellow on the bottom. And like I said, once I give this a couple of coats and let it dry, then... Um, and add my stencil because I am going to be adding a stencil to this. Then I can uh, distress it and clear coat it. And then my, my stencil will be clear coated also. I know that you see these little wooden boxes, different types of wooden boxes in the thrift stores. And I noticed in the 80s and 90s, they made a lot of different little wooden items like this. And uh, but think beyond what they are. And I know that a lot of people don't use these little mail holders anymore. Uh, but uh, it doesn't have to be a mail holder. And like, like I said, in this case, I'm just going to make it a little floral arrangement. So once I get this covered and it dries, then I, I use that, um, that same stencil. And this time, all I'm using on it is this little bee. 
So I'm not even going to do the little uh, border around the outside because that didn't fit on. And uh, so I'm just going to concentrate on just this little B and I'm going to do it in this, uh, in this um, Dixie Belle in the color caviar, which is just kind of a, uh, it, it's black, but it's not a real strong black. And I didn't mention before, but uh, when I'm doing these little uh, stencils, I just use a makeup sponge. And this one, I'm using a flat makeup sponge, and it's just what I had handy. I don't recommend it because it's not real easy to work with. Um, but um, I usually use the little egg-shaped ones, or you can use the little makeup wedges. Uh, but like I said, I... I wouldn't recommend this because it it isn't real easy to maneuver and also it doesn't hold much paint so uh, I just did it because this was a small stencil but um, in the future I won't use these I had just bought a, um, a pack of different types of sponges and this was just one that was in there I really don't like using stencil brushes. I seem to get a lot of bleed through, so sponges work much better for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.